What is up? We're here on a beautiful Sunday evening. Definitely woke up this morning feeling like a back day. So uh, I'm ready to go. Took some pre, started to get amped up in the car. Now we're here. Starting with the, uh, the usual lap pull down. First two sets, just gonna be heavy as shit, moving weight, using the body a bit. After that, we'll slow them down, slow and controlled, lower the weight. You, you know the drill by now. Yeah, let's knock out this first set. Let's see if we any, got anything to, uh, to chat about. Yeah, using wrist straps is definitely a cheat code when it comes to getting the most back activation as possible. You just gotta think about it. If you don't have to worry about feeling the movement in your back, but then on top of it, feeling it in your forearms, biceps, and just your overall grip strength, this is mostly just speaking to people who haven't used lifting straps, it totally eliminates the whole factor of losing out on reps because your grip strength is giving out. So I don't know, it, I'd say they're definitely important if you're only trying to hit back, but if you're also trying to grow your forearms and not hit them directly, then don't use lifting straps. <clears throat> Now moving on, like I said, these ones are gonna be a lot lower weight, a lot slowed down, and a lot more controlled all the way to the bottom and really just working on squeezing with the, the lats all the way down versus like bicep. So it's really just about taking down the weight and just focusing mind-muscle connection to the lat and just pulling it down. Something kind of felt off when doing that last set of lat pull downs. I don't know, I don't think I tweaked anything. I just definitely noticed coming down my right lat. Uh, I felt something, so feel there's no need to push it, no need to go for another set. We're moving on to mid back here, mid to upper back, just on the seated rows. I think we'll be perfectly fine doing this movement just cause it's not lat focused. So let's smash like three sets of this. I, th I think that sounds good. Oof, I need some fucking traction on these things. Okay, let's move on to the, uh, the fan favorite, or should I say my favorite, seated cable row, sorry, seated one arm cable row. Now, theoretically, I could have set it up on the same machine I was just using, just switch the atta attachments out, use one arm, but it's not super busy right now, so the cables machines aren't taken up or anything. 
or being used. So I decided just to grab a box and throw the D handle on the cable attachment. And all I'm gonna be doing is sitting back, letting my lat stretch at the bottom and just squeeze in here and then going, going from there. So, like I said, this is probably one of my favorite back exercises. I don't do it every back day, but I like to throw it in there every one or two back days. Um, but yeah, this is really just to complete the back day and finish off the lats, especially since I ended on the lat pull downs a little bit early. But uh, there's two ways you can do this. One, if you want them more lower, more just lat focused in general, keep the elbow in, keep the handle low. But if you want to hit middle back to upper back, what you got to do is instead of having it here, flare your elbow out and just pull back this way. If I were to be doing that, hitting middle back, I would definitely go on the machine I was just using. Because I don't know, I just like to feel better there. But anyways, yeah, let's just knock out, I'm thinking three sets. And then after that, we should be good on back. This is kind of the same idea with set number three of the lat pull downs. No reason to go heavy to the point where your form breaks down. Basically what I'm trying to say is when I'm doing a movement like this, the whole emphasis on it is about the squeeze. When you're hitting your final point of the movement, but then also once I extend all the way, I really just want to stretch out my lat to get the full stretch, get the full, I don't know if you're tearing the muscle fibers on the way down like this, but I'll just say it for now, full stretch, full tears, and then get back here. If you were to do the same thing where you're stretching all the way, but it's a weight you can't control fully, then you're totally gonna injure yourself. Like, it's almost a 100% chance that you're gonna injure yourself doing that. So, doing a movement like this, slow it down, lower the weight, really just work on the squeeze, drop the ego, and I'm telling you, you'll make substantial gains. Solid back day. Wasn't good, wasn't bad. I am kind of annoyed about uh, the lat pull down incident, but it is what it is. Just took it easy on it after that, and I didn't notice it. So I think the biggest part is if you notice something's feeling off, don't push it. There's no point in pushing something that'll end up getting you more injured which then will end up forcing you to take more time off. So it's better to, once you first notice something, just take it easy so it's a shorter recovery process. And again, I'm not saying I'm injured or anything. I just noticed something wasn't feeling right. So why bother pushing it, you know? But anyways, the lats are feeling fully pumped right now. 
So um, I'm trying to check this bad boy out. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the greatest back daylighting, but got to deal with what we have. Ooh. Yeah, the lats are definitely pumped. But yeah, I know I've been saying this the past two weeks, but I am getting a haircut soon. If it's not during this week, like say before Thanksgiving, then it's going to be next weekend for sure, no doubt. I'm going to do these same movements with a vacuum because I have been working on those. Not any other time than when I'm posing after this, but I've been trying to get better at those just so when I'm on the cut, it can, it can really look good and those vacuums can really stand out. Let's hit those two, then we'll hit the ab pose that we all love, well, that I love, and we can hit abs and get to the car. Ooh. Okay, give me a second here. Gotta catch my breath. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, as long as I consistently do vacuums, I think I can get them to look decently aesthetic by the time we're cutting. So that'll be exciting to see. I've really been missing my abs, I'm not gonna lie. Not trying to mention it too much, but yeah. It's pretty tough to see him right now. Okay. Solid, solid, solid. Okay, I'm gonna go hit some cable crunches just to activate these bad boys. Just probably do like five sets, maybe four, but we'll see. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the car. <sighs> Pretty decent bag day. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it to you. Decent. Not bad, not great, decent. <sighs> I'm definitely noticing on, this is kind of off subject, but on my cable crunches, those are definitely feeling, uh, feeling easier to do. So I think I might have to start upping the weight on that. I've just been flat out using 100 pounds with the cable attachment for the past month. So I think I'm gonna go 110, move it up a notch and see how that works out. And if it's too much, then I'll, too much for me to do about five sets of 10, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back down. Abs are, a, abs are kind of a, a weird muscle where they're not gonna, grow that much they're definitely going to be able to pop out more but they're not okay what is this guy doing but they're not going to really get that much bigger if you know what i'm saying so we'll see how that goes uh, again i'm not gonna push it to the point where i can only do 
or, or where I have to do less reps and sets. So, anyways, uh, I mean, shit, I, I don't really have that much to talk about or that I was thinking about talking about. I've been working on getting my calories and protein in after the whole sickness last week. That's definitely been... I dropped a, I dropped a couple pounds from last week for sure. I was like at a flat 200. And I'm definitely noticing... I'm getting back up to where I was before. I'm not quite there yet. I'm at like a solid 204. So, I mean, not terrible, but uh, we got a little over a month to gain about five pounds, five, six pounds. That's the overall goal. 210 is what I want to end at. So, uh, I'll definitely need to make sure to keep hitting my goals every day and uh, stay disciplined on that end. Uh, But, yeah. Anyways... We got a leg day tomorrow. I'm low-key kind of excited. I think the biggest part about leg days is if you're notorious for skipping them and you've skipped a couple leg days in a row, I think the biggest part or the biggest leap in getting back into the routine is that first leg day after a break, you know? But once you hit that leg day, you hit it, you wake up the next day you're sore as shit you can barely walk then after a couple days you're finally fully recovered after that I think it's like a a flip of the switch you're back on I'm starting to get a little more excited for leg days I'm not completely dreading the idea of it so like I said yeah I think it's just about that initial first leg day back but after that then it then it's then it's back to normal So yeah, and the reason I'm doing a leg day so earlier in the week is because on Thanksgiving or on Thursday, me and then a bunch of people from my work, we're all getting together before Thanksgiving and having a big ass two-hand touch football game, tournament, not a game, it'd be one game. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to hit legs tomorrow on Monday, so by the time Thursday rolls around, I should be fully recovered, my legs should be fresh, I don't have anything to worry about. So, I'm hoping, since I already hit legs last week, I shouldn't be that sore after tomorrow's leg day. Depending on the movements I do, but I I really shouldn't. Either way, it's good. It'll probably take a max of two days to fully recover. So I I should be fine. But yeah, Thursday is going to be fun. Getting back to the old, throwing around the old pigskin. And uh, me and my cousin, he works with me too. We're we're, realistically, we're probably the the two fastest guys. So we're definitely going to be scoring at least a couple touchdowns. And I'm excited for that. Uh, we're going to be practicing our touchdown celebrations beforehand at a Friendsgiving that we got going on. So that's, that should definitely be fun. Uh, I've been waiting for, for uh, that football game for a while. Uh, yeah. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I think a cat just ran across the road. Maybe a fox. Uh, Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm planning on doing for legs tomorrow. I might do leg press instead of squats. But I know I've said this before, but I kind of want to start doing deadlifts again. Not super heavy deadlifts. I'm not trying to max out right now. But just to get back into the routine because if you didn't know this, a year ago... I think a little bit, eh, like a, yeah, like a year ago from now, my freshman year of college, I freaking deadlifted 425. I maxed out at that. Conventional deadlift with chalk. 
So I do kind of want to get back into the routine of deadlifting because I want to see how much I can, I can put up now. I'm hoping eventually I could work my way up to 500, but uh, that might still be a little far-fetched considering I, I literally haven't deadlifted in a year since then, since I hit 425. So, but uh, my biggest shtick with starting deadlift right now is I just do not enjoy deadlifting without chalk. And the why that I go to, they don't, they don't give out any chalk. So I think I got to buy some soon uh, just to start using it because I don't know what it is. Uh, when deadlifting, I just... I don't feel the straps are effective, the wrist straps that I use today, like on back day. I don't know. I just, they just don't seem to help at all. But when I used chalk, I was able to deadlift 425. And then when I tried maxing out like a month and a half ago with the, uh, the straps, I only got like 365. So, and that was because my grip strength, because I couldn't. I could physically lift it up, but I couldn't hold it with my hands. So that's definitely something I want to do. I want to get some chalk soon and uh, start up deadlifts again, but we'll see. I could just go lighter weight so I don't have to worry about grip strength and just work on reps and working on my form and stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, yeah, good back day. Leg day tomorrow. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out, Brody. Brody? I tried to make some brother and Brody. I'll be saying Brody too much. We're going with brother this time. Peace out, brother. <laughs>